I have answers. Not all of them, but I have some. This is sort of my assemblage of visual research collage projects to explore. The place that I used to work at would get this um, Valoni area, sort of tourism board magazine, which I think was popularizing these Belgian sort of landscapes, which were so stunning and beautiful to me. And how to conceptualize them as sort of tourist destinations seems so interesting because like Belgian design is so austere. And I really love them. There's so many kind of filmic references to this kind of labyrinthian confusion which I appreciate it. There was also some Bauhausy looking things, which I also like because I realized that I'm really into modernism. Um, of course, there's a Rothko Chapel thing in this sort of specific collage, which is as straight as it seems very um, bucket listy for me. Um, and finally, I remember a friend telling me that Tarkovsky's last movie filmed in exile. Um, his art director had sort of position the landscape architecture to look like faces and this one really does i think it's still from the Valoni magazine but i like it a lot this is one of my earliest sketchbooks and I, what i like about it is that clearly my sense of humor has remained very much intact and it was the first sort of experience of creating titles which i really enjoyed this one is called polka dot on the verge of suicide This one is a big tome on the visual research for a uh, sort of relatively big project that had to do with a lot of kind of medieval bestiary kind of seeming things, which I really enjoyed. And I think I kind of invented that uh, angle. But the thing about it is that these sort of like really ancient kind of sense of architecture, mixing with some sort of classical photography kind of elements, and then like fashion based editorials were all really invigorating to me. There's also, um, not here, but somewhere inside, has a landscape of the old city of Atlantis, which, however dated, seems like a very futuristic kind of like role model of the world and life that is very important. But these resonate to this day. And apparently also like the, the footprints of churches have a generally same sense between each other and have been for a really long time. This is my book of collage. And this sort of image in specific um, says way more about me than it does about the imagery. Of course, we have Linda and Claudia um, and a whole bunch of other people, but these were images that I actually moved to Canada with. A whole bunch of sort of detritus of paper and kind of teenage angsty beauty relationship looking things. Um, pontificated by the kind of idiotic imagery of the stickers, which I also really found exotic when I had access to them. But this is really the weight of imagery moved continents by an adolescent replicated in this form behind cellophane. And finally, what is art if not dealing with death? I have a large segment of beautiful obituaries from the past 10 to 15 years. Also including some of these, um, oh, this is Bra British report says views towards cemeteries should change and they should be used more like public parks. There's a whole bunch of Zidane sort of situations um, when the scandal broke out. But this is the one about Liz Renee, stripper, author, and well, con and cult movie star, dead at 80. One said that going to prison sure knocked the hell out of my career. Also subsequently famous in John Waters' movies.
but a tribute nonetheless. Roganov says that there are alleys in public parks which are haunted mainly by disappointed ambition, frustrated inventors, those who are thwarted of fame, broken hearts, and by all those volcanic ingrown souls in whom the last sight of revolt still heave, and who withdraw from the insolent stare of cheerful idle folk. These shady sanctuaries are where life's scribbles come together. <laughs>